Hello and welcome back to my channel. So in this particular episode we're helping Jam Bet with her little vacation home and happy ho paradise. So we're talking with Nico here. She came in, she's talking with Nico and we're getting everything all sorted. We're getting our meeting set up outside in the cute little outdoor sitting area. So, Jambet's sitting over here. Thank you for your time, Croak K. And I think I'd like my vacation home to feel something like this. And she shows us her little beauty school dream. So, now that we know her general concept, we start looking for a location that I think is most suitable for her. And I love the little Happy Home Paradise little map that they have drawn out here. I think this is really cool. So we can sort of scroll around and look at a bunch of different places for Jambet to live. There's a whole bunch of options. So now that we have a place selected, we can look at the number of floors that we can put into the house. And I suggest a big two-level home for her so she can have the maximum amount of space. And so now at this point, we're getting everything sorted. We have the spot picked out and it's time to travel over there. We got a little traveling Nico scene in the little corner with his boat. And here we are! I ended up picking like the little cherry blossom area because I thought it was adorable. And it seems like Jambet's pretty happy with that area and she's leaving it up to me to decorate. So what I started out with doing first was going into like the decoration section in the front of the house. Which in my last Happy Homes Paradise video, I did not do. <laughs> but here I'm picking out different paths that I can use for Jambet's house. I made a little simple sort of rock path, or not rock, the little stone, like sandstone-y path. We're getting everything all looking good. Now we're looking at fences. There's so many options. Such a big fan of them. And I end up choosing the like little lattice fences as the option for her. And I put it on both sides of the path because that's what I thought looked nicest here. Again, I'm not a very big expert on what is best and what is not best for house decorations. I just do whatever is fun. I recommend you guys do the same. It's super fun. Super chill. Um, I left a little space open on either side for you to get past the fence so you can explore the rest of the yard. Because there is so much little yard area left around it. So we're going through looking at all of the different items we could put in. I have, we're now looking at some chairs. Um, I really do like the peacock chair. Thinking of maybe adding that to my island at some point as well. But I think it really suits the Jambet view. And what's best for her little decoration outdoors. So, setting up a little area for that. I think it's pretty darn cute. Um, continuing on. Let's look at some other seats. Do love a good crescent moon. I'm still searching for the actual recipe for my island. So we will see about that. Um, 
and continuing on we have i love the velvet stools i think it really actually matches very well with on the other side those little chairs i think those are adorable and on theme and as i continue on i start thinking like maybe it's a good idea to turn this area into sort of like a leading carpet area like a little red carpet area so i'm adding chairs across here to give it that cool look and at the end we have a little um moon chair but there's a little path that i made out of the little stools now we're looking at some pathing I decided to go with the wooden one to give it that sort of red crossing feel. Because I thought that looks pretty cool. I think this is the point where I kind of like shift the angle at which the chairs are because they're kind of overlapping. Don't worry, I get it all fixed and lined up. All good and nice. But... It took me a second to actually be able to do that. So here we are. We're just trying to line these up and like adjust them. <laughs> I keep picking up the moon seat. So I have to put that back there. So that's in essence like the completed little pathway walkway area. We're looking at a couple more seats around. There are so many options in Animal Crossing New Horizons and Happy Home Paradise. It's crazy. So now we're adding a little bit of a table situation with the chairs because they got to be surrounding something. So we're sliding those chairs back, grabbing this table, placing it in between the chairs. This is where I realized they're not entirely lined up, so we gotta scoot the chairs back just a little more. And get that table all organized. Continue looking, maybe if there's a better table that would more fit the area. Or we could start putting like a little receptionist counter down, and that could be sort of like a pseudo like makeup table living out those makeup teaching teacher area dreams for a little jam bat and there's so many different options for customization so i chose the pink one because it matches the outside and I thought it just looked best with the rest of the furniture. Um, as we get into this, we're looking at some flower tabletop mirrors. Again, I love the customization in this game because it's just so much easier in Happy Home Paradise to do it than in the traditional New Horizons. But it's just great no matter what. So... We're looking through, let's see what we can possibly put on the rest of the table space. Um, so we have like the mirror and the Nova light, which I thought went really well with the moon on the other side. And now that we have the front yard set up, let's get a look inside. Here's the loading screen, and here we are. So, let's unbox, firstly, all of Jambet's sort of chosen items. We have a little whiteboard, a mirror, and a little makeup kit. So, looking at our options, I start out with the wallpaper. Look through here what I could decorate these cool walls with. The peach two-tone tile wall does look cool, but it seems a little off. So 
We're going with the beaded curtains. And now we're looking at flooring. We're really sticking with the pink vibes. And although the bright pink was really cute, I think that the light pink goes a little bit better with the walls and it's a little bit less of an eyesore altogether. Um, continuing on, we do... I've centered the little whiteboard and we're selecting some cute chairs to add into the general teaching area. We're continuing to look for these sorts of benches and stuff like that. The Zen bench looks really cute to me. And I wanted to see what options I had for customization. And decided to just stick with the regular red color. Um, and here we're getting this all sorted. So we're putting the mirror on the Zen bench. Which is acting as a table. <laughs> Because I thought that seemed like about the right height for makeup practice. We're lining up the chair and the mirror together. So there's two chairs per Zen bench. And we're moving that to the side. Getting that all organized. And Jambette was over there clapping a minute ago, which is so cute. I love that. And since I liked that sort of design, I decided to continue looking at other options around here, seeing what's best. Um, there's so many table options. Loving those tables. School desks I debated on for a little bit, but ended up going with. So now we're arranging it back to sort of even with the other setup, but on the other side so that everything looks even and nice. Getting it all sorted. Woohoo! We got, we're looking at some more cute chairs. Because I was going to give one to Jim Bat, but turns out I didn't give her enough space after all that. So I had to wait until I um, had to scoot the receptionist chair down and a little over, like you can see here. But I wanted to make sure that she had room to sit and teach her class. I put another sort of makeup pouch for her right there, and she gets a special flower mirror for her teachings, and it's the same sort of pink one as the one that's outside. Um, and continuing upstairs, another loading screen, very exciting. And here we are in the upstairs area. And I figured because her downstairs area was her teaching area, she's living, this is her paradise home. So she also needs to have a bedroom. So the upstairs area is reserved for her bedroom. And like I always have, I'm starting out with the wallpaper. Get that sort of vibe from her. Again, we love the pink for her. It's rocking. And I ended up picking the purple polka dot walls, but honestly, it looks pink to me. But maybe that's just me. Um, anyway, I got the purple walls, and I picked a little bit more of a blue sort of planked flooring, because I thought, eh, why not switch it up? We got her cute little bed. So, that's like, with its little canopy area, it is so cute. And I figured, now that we're on the cute pathway, I'd get her set up with a whole bunch of cute furniture that all matches together. Because it's good to be on theme for Animal Crossing. Um, but again, we have the little vanity, we have the little um, 
armor thing and we have some lights set up so far for her i gave her vanity even though she has an entire downstairs for makeup but you know sometimes you just want to do something privately as well and we're setting up her little um dresser or more here um and the lily record player over here because like who doesn't like a good bop while doing their makeup and i picked that same sort of like pink theme along with looking at some other items that also match the pink theme at this point we're out of cute stuff or cute stuff everything is cute but um we're putting in some more pink flowers this is like a little cherry blossom bush that i'm a pretty big fan of that i added in here as well and i'm now just finding a good place to set it up and i ended up putting it kind of across from the music player we have a little cherry blossom petal um, pile which I was debating putting in there but I feel like Jambe is pretty organized and she probably wouldn't have just a random pile of leaves scrolling down we're looking at all of the different options seeing what works really loving the pink theme for her um, we're looking at <laughs> we just scrolled past the toilet um, we're looking at these like blossom lanterns which are absolutely beautiful and I feel like really significantly fit the vibe and so we are getting two of them set up putting them in the room uh, now we're looking at we've got different sort of bathtubs here I thought maybe we could do like a little spa theme up above but decided let's just stick with the traditional stuff we're looking at tables now um let's see we did use the large cafe table outside as well but if they have a good theme for the one inside that would be great as well and i decided to go with the white one because i felt like it's pretty muted and it goes a little bit with like the cute sort of style of the rest of the room we're putting we gotta put something on the table so we're looking through like the miscellaneous category and we're looking at what to put on the table we're setting i put a little afternoon tea set on it and we have some little cherry jam because again it goes with the pink theme put them across from each other so that they weren't too close with each other not too overwhelming and we have all of the space on the ceiling so let's add some lighting decided to click a milk glass clip little lamp up there add some more ambiance and light we're also doing some stuff with the walls with like the dreamy wall rack because again the pink the pink is such a vibe and we got the iron wall lamps which i think will provide a little bit more light to the room and we got some white in there that goes with the table and i gotta scoot that light over so it's even um and we have a cute little wall mounted clock i lied so we weren't done with the cute items so now that we have that put on the wall we're putting a cherry blossom clock as well it's never too bad to see multiple forms of time <laughs> and now we're getting to look through everything real quick see if we want to add anything else let's look at the log and we're adding some more makeup pouches onto the table um and a little tabletop mirror because we love a good mirror um, a little makeup bag that I tried to put on the little um, table over here in the corner, the little makeup table, but it didn't sit, so we had to switch that around and unfortunately get rid of it. Now we're just making sure that everything's in the proper angle, getting everything sorted. 
and we'll give one last look to the downstairs area. Another loading screen, very exciting. We're seeing this cute area again. At this point, I'm pretty happy with what I see. And it is time to talk to Jampette. And with that being said, let's see the little house tour. Hey. 